thing is that uh, this is a painting by numbers kit that I got when I was uh, 13, so that was in 1974. And um, what I remember about this is, I think it was my grandmother who gave it to me uh, for Christmas. And so um, I did it, but it took me so long and um, I really hated doing it. But um, once I started, you know, I felt I had to go through with it and I couldn't sort of leave it unfinished. And, um, you know, I remember sort of thinking about, God, the people who done done oil paintings, like Michelangelo, I mean, how could he bear to do it? You know, it would just take you so long. I mean, this took me months and months and months. I thought that, uh, you know, somebody doing the Mona Lisa, it must have taken him years and years and years. Well, in fact, it did, didn't it? So um, I think this kind of put me off getting anything, doing anything to do with art. For, for life, well not quite for life because I've kind of got back into art lately. Well I suppose that at that time there were quite a few things that um, were similar to this because I mean painting my numbers if you want me just to explain how it worked um, you had the canvas with the des design on it in outline and in each space there was a number and you also had um, a set of oil paints and each oil paint was numbered so you applied the oil paint to the number and um, I can see here I have blended sometimes so presumably um, it did show it c coded to say that you blend one color into the other so it doesn't come out completely blocky I also remember that um, when I was applying the numbers like here you've got white or ivory and then very ne next to it is pale green and I thought at the time you know that looks really strange I mean having complete the cha change of color there but um, as you built it up um, it started to make sense and you can see you've got a boatman here and um, things like that just in the original design on it it wasn't really apparent but once you'd applied color and then you s uh, got the thing built up and stood back you could see what it was supposed to be what does it say about people and art at that time? Because I remember at the same sort of time as this, there was um, a, 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 a sort of craze on things where you put pins in a board and you wrapped thread around them and you built up kind of patterns that way. And there was a thing called the sparograph where you could make spiral patterns by putting a barrow in something and uh, there, there were... Um, interlocking parts that uh, drew, drew patterns on paper. So um, maybe it was a time when there was a lot of uh, interest in craft, craft activities. I mean, of course, we didn't have uh, the internet and uh, we'd never heard of Photoshop. And uh, so we had to find some way to keep ourselves occupied.